Hi, good morning everyone and thanks for taking the time to join us this morning for our invoice processing webinar. I'm Neil and I'm joined by my colleague Damien who will walk us through the solution demo shortly. Uh, any questions can be posted in the panel on the right hand side during the webinar and we'll do our best to cover these at the end. Uh, there is also a handout document, it's a PDF document and that can also be downloaded from the panel on the right hand side as well. So just to set the scene really, a lot of our conversations are typically around how to save time performing data entry tasks within an account and finance function and how to overcome these process burdens with a digitized capture and invoice processing solution. And we're going to cover off three areas in particular, then take a look at the solution demo. So the first being capture. And how do you transition from where you currently are to an automated way of processing documents? But the first place to start is with the automatic capture of information from invoices. And whether that be header information like the company name or purchase order number and order date or line item data, including product names, quantities and totals. And the intelligent indexing in DocuAir has an inbuilt AI engine, which learns where the correct information is on an invoice and automatically captures the data for processing later on. Then we have secure storage. And with any document management solution, data security is paramount, but so is ease of use for your users. And with simple one-click storage of documents and fast retrieval when you need them, this helps improve turnaround times in answering customer queries. And hybrid working is no longer a difficult task with access to your documents anytime, anywhere, and from any device. And using the automated workflow, we can push documents into an authorization process and receiving an email with a new document which needs authorizing and being able to approve these on the move can really help speed up the process and increase productivity. And no longer do you need to walk paper around the office and have to chase these outstanding tasks. And this is all visible to you and your staff electronically, saving time and allowing your staff to concentrate on other important tasks. So I'm going to pass you over to Damien to walk you through the solution demo for invoice processing. Great, thanks Neil. Can you see my screen okay? Yeah, I can see your screen. Brilliant, thanks for that. So today the demo is going to focus on the three core areas that Neil mentioned being capture, and this is quite an underlooked part of DocuAir often, but there's some really powerful tools um, to capture documents into DocuAir, storage and retrieval, and the invoice processing and workflow automation side of the, the software. So we'll start off with a quick tour of the DocuAir interface. And as you can see, this is a web application, which means you can easily access it on any device, wherever you are. There are also some mobile apps, which we'll go into a bit more detail later. The tabs along the top that you can see, these are to access the different pieces of functionality in DocuAir. And you can see the document viewing pane on the right-hand side. So we'll start off with the first part of the demo, capture. And the idea is to capture these documents into the document tray. So you can see the document trays with tab on the top left. Um, and this is similar to an in tray on your desk where you maybe capture documents at the first stage prior to kind of indexing and storing like you would kind of filing into a filing cabinet or um, lever arch file or something like that. And one of the typical scenarios is email. Now, you might have a dedicated email account like AP at or account at or finance at, something like that. And I'm trying to mimic this in um, my Gmail account. So you can see I've got a couple of emails here. If I open one up, you'll see there's an invoice at the bottom. And I'm just going to move these into the DocuAir folder. 
And what Dodge was going to do is I've created a rule that said that says, look at this email account, but more particularly, look at this folder. I want you to capture the attachments, automatically move them over to the um, document tray, and then I can just kind of focus on that and store them. Uh, they're probably still in there, and it will take a little while for Document to capture them. But once uh, Document has, it will move them into the process folder. You might have a more of an ad hoc situation where individuals in the finance team are receiving um, invoices via email. And again, you can just, using the Connect to Outlook module, you can just right click and store in Document. Uh, just need to lock it first. But you can you see that this one has already been installed in DocuA before. It's already tagged with DocuA and it has the blue tag there as well. So we'll come back to that one. Um, the other situation might be where you have a batch of invoices that you want to scan. And we can see here we have a multi-page invoice with just open it, we can see we have a few invoices here. And I'm going to try and mimic the kind of batch scan process. And we will just copy these over to a scan folder. And DocuWare is watching this folder and will automatically capture those documents. And it will recognize how many invoices there are, split them. And you can split based on like a barcode or um, a piece of information changing, that kind of thing. Now in the web interface, we can also import uh, files directly from a folder, and you can scan from a desktop scan. We notice here the documents that we have captured have like a color coding, and this is a, um, a traffic light system where DocuWare is using the intelligent algorithm, intelligent indexing algorithms that Neil mentioned earlier to work out what's index information. It turns that document um, into data, and to automatically perform that indexing process for you. So if we go ahead and we store a couple of these, you can see the invoices that have just been captured from that um, watch folder, the gray bar that's going up on the left-hand corner. This is the intelligent indexing engine trying to turn that document into data and recognize the relevant pieces of index information. So if you grab a hold of a couple of these invoices and go ahead and store them, Now you notice that DocuWare has already recognized this as an invoice. It has captured the company name. We've captured the invoice number. And as you go through each of the index values, DocuWare will highlight it on the document itself so you can visually check that this is all correct. Now, if you wanted to teach DocuWare which piece of index information to capture, let's say it hadn't captured the invoice number, it's really easy to teach it. You just literally point it at the information you want. It will populate that index field for you. And then next time, it will recognize that on the document. You'll see it's also captured the line item data. Um, and again, you teach it in the same way. Uh, if you wanted to capture a certain column, you can literally just choose the column of information you want to capture. We could also, at this stage, at the point of storage, we could code the invoice. So you can see here we have. Some people call it general ledger coding, other people call it nominal codes. We could do that at the store stage, but I've actually triggered a workflow to try and show how that might work in a, in a typical finance situation. So we'll get and store that. And again, we've got this one for US Steel. You notice that this one has a particularly large value, and this will come into play as part of the invoice approval workflow. So now that DocuWare has captured all of this information with intelligent indexing, it's now available to use in other applications to reduce data entry or to make decisions on those invoices. And this is where we move on to the next part, which is the secure storage and retrieval. So all of these invoices are now stored within the secure central repository, which makes it quick and easy to find documents. So take, for instance, we've received an email. We go back to our email. And we've received an email query here for this particular invoice number. Now, there's a new feature within DocuWare called Highlight Search. 
and I've created a key combination, which is just Control, Shift, and I. You can create your own if there's something that um, kind of is a bit more relevant. But to find out some information about this invoice, I can literally press that key combination. Docuair will search within the repository. We can have a, I'll take this one as well, because the email was to say, has this invoice been paid? We double click it, the invoice will open. We can see it has been paid by the stamp that's on the document, and we can also right click, have a look at the history, and we can see when it was stored, when it was coded, when it was paid. So we can easily go back and uh, reply to that email saying, yes, this has been paid. We can also show the connect to Outlook functionality now. If we right click and we can click in store and DocuWare, and you can kind of choose your options. Now, all of these things are configurable. This is just what I've created from, from scratch. So we can kind of tailor make this functionality um, particular to your function. Now, the next option for search is the web client search. So if we go back to the web client, we can go into the search tab. And you can create multiple search dialogues, we call them. And so this one, there's quite a lot of options, but you might find that you just want a simple option. So you can see as many or as few options as you want to. So if, let's say I have a query for a company. So this company is called in. They want to see the status of their particular invoice. We can grab one of these. We can see a copy on the right-hand side. And this one is actually pending. So if I look at the history, we would see, okay, it's at the coding stage. It hasn't completed yet. If you wanted a copy, I could then email it to you, download it, print it, do whatever you want to do. While I'm here, I'm going to use another tool in DocuAir, which is the DocuAir clipboard. So when I click on the clipboard, I can copy some text from the invoice. And the reason I'm doing this is there is another search option which is really powerful in DocuAir, which is the full text search. So if you can't remember maybe what the company was or the invoice number, you can just run a full text search. And this is going to search the contents of every document in the system. So we'll just click on search. And DocuAir has very quickly retrieved those documents and handily just highlighted the piece of text that I was searching for. Now, you might also do a search on a regular basis. And this is where lists come in. So lists are just saved searches so that you can click on that rather than having to type in the information every time. You notice I've got some saved searches here for invoices, and this can be a handy way, like a dashboard, seeing the invoices coming into the business, what stage they're at, and it just allows you to monitor their progress. We also have folders. Now, folders, it's not like a physical folder structure. This is just like a virtual way of organizing your documents. And you can see this is the same data, but I've put a, a, like a virtual folder structure based on invoice status. So I can see how many have been improved, how many have been exported to my finance application, Sage, SAP, whatever it might be, you know, how many are out for approval. And I've also structured my finance information by company. So I could quickly have a look, go into Rapid Transport, for instance, and I can see all of their delivery notes, invoices, purchase orders, that kind of thing. Go back to search. We could also do a search from the mobile app. So let's say I was out and about somewhere and I've had a phone call and I just want to search for a document quickly. Again, I can use the simple search option. Select what document I'm looking for. Maybe choose the company and click on search. And again, I can quickly get to those documents. Choose this one because it's got some useful information on it. So the workflow tasks will apply a stamp, which provides a visual history. I can see what's happened to that. So if someone's phoned me on my mobile, I can get to that document. I could also do something with it. So I could share it via my native applications on my mobile if I was able to. Now, the last section that Neil mentioned was the automated workflow. And this is where you can really make a big difference to your daily tasks. Using the tools in DocuWare, you could eliminate most, if not all, of the administration for invoices that match and validate against supporting documentation 
or data in another system. For those that do need some human intervention, that process could be made so much quicker and easier for everyone involved. So if we have a look at our tasks, we can see, so these are the two invoices that we stored earlier, and these are at the coding stage that we talked about. So I'm gonna go ahead and code these invoices. So I'll just move that up a bit. And again, this is just what I've configured. Um, DocuWare can be customized to your particular requirements. I've linked the GL codes to a data list, so I can just select them. This can be mandatory, so you can force um, or you know, make sure a user does complete every single line item. I've also got some cost centers on here because I'm using cost centers to assign the approver. So each of these cost centers has a manager that needs to approve their part of the invoice. And I'll just go ahead and code the rapid transport one as well. I'll just do a couple of options for the demo. Now what's interesting is the rapid transport invoice actually has a corresponding purchase order. The values match and they're within a certain um, kind of tolerance. So we should see the rapid transport um, invoice come back through. There you go. You can see it's already gone through to pay. So whereas as a person in the finance team, I might have had to kind of reconcile that against other documents and check the delivery note. In DocuWare, it's happened in a matter of seconds. I can right click it, click on select related documents. I can see the delivery notes. I can see the purchase orders that relate to that particular invoice. And if you wanted to, you could double check they matched. So here we go. Here's the purchase order. The values match. It's under a certain amount. You've got the corresponding delivery note. And the invoice itself. Now, the other one was the US Steel invoice, and this doesn't have a corresponding purchase order. So if we go back and just close down the delivery notes and purchase orders, so we can see the US Steel invoice is out for approval. We can see in our list how many invoices we have out for approval. So we've got the US Steel one, and we can see the ones that have already been approved. But if we go ahead and approve this, Let's try that. And what we could do is we could actually do this on our mobile again. So whereas we were searching for invoices, we could also approve or perform a workflow action. So if I select, and I select this one, so there's the US Steel invoice, you can use your normal mobile tools. We can make a decision, apply the stamp and click on confirm. So we'll see that task and um, leave our list of tasks because we perform the action on our phone. Now, within the task, you might also want to see all of the tasks, not just your own. So if you're a manager of a department, you might want to monitor tasks. So we can see here, if I click on that, we have a couple of tasks here that are assigned to the finance manager. And this is because the invoice is over a certain value. And I'll go ahead and say, yep, yeah, that's okay. I can use these options down here or use the stamp again, so I'll just apply a stamp. But it means that let's say the finance manager, I know she's on a holiday, I can perform her task for her, but it also gives me an overview of everything that's happening to try and avoid any delays in that process. So I'll go back to my tasks. And the next thing I might be doing is a payment run. And we can see, here we go, here are the three invoices. The ones that have already gone through the matching process and validation, the one that's gone through the approval process. And let's say as part of this payment run, I'm just gonna go ahead, confirm paid on those three, and then that's done. We've completed the workflow process.
process and we've used the automation tools to take away as much of the administration as possible. So now the invoice processing is complete, we can use our export app. So here we go. We have the AMS export app with a few different options available, but we're going to use the XLS export. So we can use that to export the data that DocuWare has already captured so that we can import it into our finance package, say SAP, Great Claims, whatever that might be. So if I go to export profiles and I'll run this profile, you could put this on a schedule so it could run once a day, once a week, once an hour, whatever that might be. And you can also choose what pieces of information you want to export. So that should complete in just a moment. And then we can go to the folder and show what's been created. So I don't know if you saw that pop in just then. We have the new Excel file. We can open that up. And in here we can see I wanted to get every single line item with the, uh, you notice I've changed some of the columns, I'll, I'll, just, I'll um, explain that in a moment, but you can see we've exported all the data that DocuWare has um, captured as part of the auto-indexing and coding process, um, and we can now import that into another system. You notice as well, I've changed the headings. So this was GL code in DocuWare, and this was item number. And the reason is, in the new app, we've updated it so that you can change the column headings to match the entries within your application. So it's a great way to kind of reduce data entry and make that process um, kind of automated. We are also releasing a new update to the application soon, which will allow grouping. Um, you can create a new data file per invoice, but we also want to uh, allow you to create a new file per column, which would be really good if you had like, um, so supplier name, we could create a new file per supplier. So if you've got a few key suppliers that you want to do a payment run on a regular basis, you could um, export all of their invoice transactions, um, or you could do it on nominal code, whatever you want. But hopefully that will be coming soon for you as well. And just the last test of the new highlight functionality, if I click on Control, Shift, and I, we can go straight to that document, and I think that's one of the key things that document does is creates that relationship between documents and data. So hopefully that's raised some ideas and I will pass you back to Neil. Brilliant, thanks Damien. So really just to summarize on, on what we've seen in Damien's demo today, uh, we started off seeing the capture of documents with tools such as the intelligent indexing, which is extremely powerful for capturing data on these finance documents. And when validating the invoices, we saw DocuWare making decisions for us. And based on the captured data and cross-referencing it with other data and documents in the system, such as purchase orders. And of course, one of the major benefits of DocuWare is the automated workflow and allowing documents being automatically pushed around different cost centers or approvers with full visibility. And it really goes without saying that this saves a lot of time in the process and helps alleviate any potential bottlenecks. And the final part, we saw our AMS export app, which allows us to export the data you need for automatic import into your finance or ERP system. And the good thing is you can start simply and build upon a process later on. So when we're talking to our customers, a lot of the time, 80 to 90% of their invoices do already match and they can go straight to pay. But the problem and time consuming part is they have to go through the matching and validation process manually. And if DocuWare can do this automatically in a matter of seconds, how much time could that save you? Okay, we're at the end of the webinar, and we do appreciate your time this morning. And we will now open up the uh, conversation and go through the questions that have come through during the, during the webinar. Great, so thanks, Neil. I'll just start opening up some of the questions here. Um, I've got a question on the capture side of things, um, and it's about can you automatically capture documents without having to index them? 
Um, and I know that I showed uh, like a watch folder which moved documents over into the uh, the document tray that you could then use the intelligent indexing algorithm. And that's because the format of those documents vary slightly. So it's a different pattern each time. If you have a document, especially a document that you're creating, like a, uh, a dispatch note or a purchase order, where you know the information is going to be in the same place every time, then yes, DocuWare can capture documents and uh, store them without any human intervention. And that's kind of using zonal OCR. So you're basically saying this piece of information is the invoice number, this piece of information is the purchase order number, that kind of thing. Can DocuWare cater for other departments as well? I don't know if you want to take that, Liam. Yeah, it can. So DocuWare is not just built for finance, but it has a strong presence in finance and HR. Um, but also it can be adapted to be used in a sales environment, uh, a purchasing environment, or maybe a project management department. And really, it could be used anywhere within a business um, that, that sort of has a need or has document-driven processes. So it can be very easily adapted. Uh, and the good thing is, via the permissions, you can have different um, filing cabinets or virtual filing cabinets between these different departments. So by permissions, you can actually hide certain documents um, from uh, different people viewing the, the departmental documents. I've got a question here about something I didn't show. Someone's noticed the, the forms uh, tab on the web client um, and they've asked kind of what, what's the forms tab. So DocuWare has um, a really good forms option which can be used for capturing information from public sources or from private sources. So uh, either people with a DocuWare user license or maybe external parties, typical uh, situations might be a su supplier onboarding form or a new employee onboarding form um, or a purchase order requisition. Um, I think the plan is that in one of the upcoming webinars we're going to do, we're going to focus a bit more on forms because it's quite a specialised area. So hopefully you'll be able to join us for that one as well. Um, I'm going to keep you aware we're kind of running out of time a bit, aren't we? So for the remaining questions, what, what we'll do is um, we'll get back to you over email um, because we do want to kind of finish up within the, the half hour because there's actually a survey at the end of the webinar and we'd be really grateful if you could um, fill that out because it'd be great to find out what you thought about the webinar and also what you want to see on the next one. Brilliant. Thanks, David. Thanks, everyone, for all your questions this morning and joining us on the webinar. Uh, we really do appreciate the time this morning and hope to see you on the next one in about four weeks' time. Thanks very much.